Hi guys, one of the concepts we talk about in our brain-based series for parents and providers is creating a brain-based uh, area or strategy in your business and in your home. Uh, and what this is, it's really, really simple. The first thing is understanding and identifying what a what the primary trigger of stress response or deflections is for your child. So meaning, is it when you go somewhere noisy and there's a lot of noise that you see that their need to touch things or their need to talk or their impulsive behavior, i.e. their deflections increase? Is it that when you ask a lot of them, like they come home from school and you say, hey, what did you do today? Um, hey, what do you want to do tonight? Hey, what do you want for dinner? When you ask them things and they have to process and have a response, do you see that their deflective behaviors, the challenging behaviors increase? Remember, there's always a reason for that. That's for another video. But the first thing is watching and wondering and determining what is it that creates an increased stress for each individual, including yourself. And then we can create a break with the child, with the adult, we can do it for ourselves. If it's a noisy environment, if it's a lot of auditory input, perhaps a great strategy to develop with your child, for your child, um, when you see increase in deflective behaviors is that they can have something that controls their auditory env environment. They have headphones that they can put on for five or 10 minutes to allow to con that for them to control their auditory environment because all this noise that's uncontrolled by them and they have to process is creating this stress response. That would be a really appropriate, specific brain-based strategy to help decrease deflections for that child. It could be movement-based. It could be they need kind of a, a, a space in the home where there's nothing, there's no noise, there's not a lot of sound, but they're drawing, right? So first thing is, develop, is, is developing an understanding and determining what type of an environment or stimulus increases the deflective behaviors. And then let's create a strategy or a place in your home or in your office or your business that allows for that child to have a decrease of that stimulation for a time to help them get out of their brainstem, decrease deflections and come more towards whole brain processing so that they can have um, less reactivity, more efficiency in processing their world. This is a great brain-based strategy that takes a little bit of work but can be really impactful for your business and for the families that you work with.